Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea. It's the weekend, so welcome to my bedside. We're just hanging out. Um, usually on the weekends, I like to take some time, drink my coffee, hang out with my daughters, and water my plants and inspect them. And it's sad but true, but maybe that's why you're here too. Sometimes our plants get sick. And right now I have a dumb cane. This baby right here, actually in quarantine at the moment, um, that has been infested with mealybugs. I know how it happened, and this is really a lesson for us all. Seriously, when you're buying a plant from the greenhouse, inspect it while you're there. Don't feel ashamed to kind of look it all, look it all over, make sure that there's nothing growing on it or trying to cling on to it and take its life um, because they are hiding. So I did buy several calathea, which are really prone to a lot of different diseases. And one of them was sick. I brought it home and it was contagious and brought it to my dump cane. So um, I thought I had cleaned everything, quarantined them long enough, but clearly not. So I need to clean this dump cane up because it means the world to me. Um, dump cane, this is, what type of dump cane is this? This is a Diffenbachia uh, Mar Marianne. Yeah, it's a Diffenbachia Marianne. And it, oh, I have the picture. Tropic Marianne. Tropic Marianne, y'all. I actually have the the label still. So the Diffenbachia Tropical, Tropic Marianne, um, it is really prone to sickness. A lot of uh, plants that have very thin leaves um, are more susceptible to these type of illnesses. But we're going to bring it into my laundry room and we're going to wash it up with some nice fresh water and really just take a little bit of time to inspect every leaf where they could be hiding and getting them off. There's several different ways to clean your plants when they get sick. Um, a lot of times I really recommend using neem oil. I just didn't have any. Um, so today I'm going to use some peppermint oil. So hopefully that works wonders for us. It's a nice um, holistic way to clean off your plants. But you could use store-bought um, pesticide or indoor, indoor uh, plant care sprays. Um, you can use neem oil. You can use dish soap. So um, we're going to start with the peppermint. Hopefully it works because after we're done one time, we're going to come back around and try it again. So wish me luck. This thing means so much to me as I'm sure all your plants do to you. So let's get started. Bye. So we're going to clean this dumb cane. I actually already started and realized I should probably be recording this. So we're going to jump into it. First things first, grab your essential oil or oil of your choice. Like I said, I picked peppermint. Love that essential oil company. Totally support them if you um, find them. So put it on just a paper towel, just drench it in a paper towel, a nice fresh paper towel, and put some clean water on it. So together, I felt like it was a nice concoction to start cleaning off each individual leaf. Um, start to finish, I really focused on every single leaf, the whole entire stem system, and then went back and double checked. Um, it's really a chore, so um, you really want to have the time and relax a little bit and um, look at every single area of your plant to ensure that there's nothing hiding. Um, mealy bugs really leave behind a white residue that looks almost like a film or a spider web. And sometimes it might be the bug itself, sometimes it's the eggs left behind or might still be hatching. And really the point here is for us to suffocate them. Sad, but hey, it's trying to kill my plant. So it's at war at the moment and our poor plant. Um, I had it infested for a little longer than I needed it to be. So it was overdue and I thought, oh my goodness, I'm about to lose this investment because uh, mealy bugs can get aggressive and bigger and stronger with time and in number. So you want to make sure that you are, ew, look at that. So um, that's me actually kind of opening up the stem system uh, between two leaves and really looking to suffocate them with that peppermint oil. Uh, and eat, you want to focus on each and every one because if you leave behind one or two, they only need one or two to keep mating and making more babies and that's disgusting. Um, so getting a fresh towel and cleaning off the um, residue of their eggs or the actual mealy bug is going to be prudent on your end and really taking your time. So really I want to just emphasize how much time I took. It didn't take all day but really getting into all the cracks and nicks and crannies of this plant. So depending on your plant you might not have hopefully as many leaves infested as I did but 
since I let it ride, I knew it would be a little bit more of a process. And honestly, even after I did this, it's um, from the day I'm recording this to when I did this uh, procedure <laughs> on my plant, um, it's been over a week, and um, I did see a few more pop in, and I was able to just rub those off with some more peppermint oil. So it did work very, very well. And if you see, I'm, I'm also taking the time to shine those leaves a little bit too. Um, the benefit of using something other than an essential oil like peppermint, let's say you use neem oil, um, it's going to shine up your leave and, leaves and make them look a little prettier along the way. Uh, you don't, of course, have to do that. Uh, this is a very organic, easy way to give an essential oil more than one use. Um, and, of course, not to mention how good it smells. <laughs> peppermint does not smell like neem oil. Neem oil is, uh, smells disgusting. Um, and really, I'm not, I'm not too inclined to use it these days. But um, really getting a fresh paper towel and starting over each time, just like washing dishes, right? You want to make sure that you're um, getting every single um, crumb off of your plates and any stain and taking the time. So here I am just double checking. I brought it a little bit more eye level because um, I know I missed some that leaving it in the sink and taking the time to get rid of some dead leaves. Um, just cosmetically, it's nice to pull them apart. Um, the funny thing about Dumcane is their leaves are toxic, so be careful touching anything um, after handling this plant. Um, so in this case, um, that was all I was doing, so I was kind of deep in it, but I even decided to not take any chances and drench the soil with some peppermint oil and wash it off that way. So um, I love this part. You get to see it get a nice shower. All plants, you know, they're natural. They live outside naturally. They would usually experience rain. And when we don't wash our plants, typically, we're not giving them what they truly deserve when we're just giving them um, water in the root system. So thought it'd kill two birds with one stone here or t feed two birds with one scone. Don't want PETA after me for that one. Um, but drenching it there and really washing my hands off from the sins that I've had to deal with there. And then I noticed a little bit more on this side and got another fresh towel and continued to clean it. And then I'm even going to take it one step further here momentarily and get the, um, the tray itself that it sits in also into some peppermint. There I am. It looks... Yeah, now I'm just getting very meticulous, but why not, right? You already see it. It's already there. You want to clean up shop, of course, and double check all your work. Yep, here I am. Boom, 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 just to add a little nice scent to the room. And voila, looks beautiful, nice and clean. And this is not a one and done. You do, will want to come back and do it again. Have a good day. Bye.